what is up everybody i hope you're having a wonderful day and this is going to be a quick video for palace of the dead just a few tips for some new players to help them you know deal with this area better know what to expect and prepare for the battles ahead so first tip i got for you is watch out for the pitfalls uh there's pretty much every map you can be knocked off of it some maps are worse than others that have more narrow single path like hallways or two pat or two tile hallways be aware that any attack whether it be a physical attack or even a ranged attack if it crits you or has knockback into it you know mostly it's going to be crits but it can be just regular attacks too you will fall off at certain angles so if an enemy's like on your side or on your other side even if you got your back to the you know the cliff you can fall off so just be aware of positioning be aware of where the enemy is uh watch out for those crits because they will happen and like i said generally it is a crit that will knock you off now that leads me to number two which is something that's not very obvious at all is some of the hidden doors and hidden paths you can take that allow you to go deeper in now there's a couple uh floors really specific numbers that will have you you have to use a doorway you have to find the doorway to get through them and uh you, ha you have to locate that hidden door to proceed usually it'll be listed in the objectives tab when you are looking at the you know the completion rewards like what you get for bringing a unit or you know how that stuff works so just pay attention to that and make sure you see that don't be like me and ignore it sometimes because you know I mostly ignore objective rewards for the most part, so pay attention to that because it'll definitely hint that there's a hidden door you need to find that'll let you proceed. And number three, one that, you know, a lot of people probably would question is bring something that can banish the undead or remove the distilled undead. Uh, a lot of people would bring a cleric, but I mean, you don't really need a cleric. There's plenty of other classes, plenty of other ways to exercise the undead, remove them. I mean, you can bring a necromancer to banish them. You can have, uh, if you have Kashua, the princess, she can do it. Heck, you can just bring the item to do it. But definitely bring somebody that can remove them. Unless you're in a battle that doesn't have any, then I guess you're okay to go. Because if there's no one dead, then you don't really need to worry about it. But definitely something to be aware of. The only other thing is, if there's like one or two, I guess you could, you know, not need to bring somebody that can remove them. Because... You know, you'll just drop them again if they get back up. But if there's a lot, it's definitely going to be a hassle to keep them all down at all times to finish the stage. So I would say bring one, maybe two if you're really worried. Or like I said, just bring the exorcism item. Give everybody like one or two of those. And then everybody in your squad can do it and you're going to be perfectly fine. So those are just three quick little tips for new people that are getting into the Palace of the Dead. You know, if you're, if you're a veteran of the series or you know what you're doing, obviously these tips aren't going to help you much. But for those of you that, you know, just want to know what to prepare for or what's coming up, this is this will help you. Keep in mind, these are tips more for the early part of the Palace of the Dead. Obviously, it gets a little bit more crazy the deeper you go. Enemies get stronger. The stages get a little more wonky. But these tips will work through the whole 100 plus floors. So let me know what you guys think down below. Hopefully, this uh, helped you out. Helped out some new players, new people that are picking up the game or checking it out. I do appreciate you checking out the video. Thank you so much. And like I said, feel free to leave comments down below. Any questions, I try to read and respond to all comments. So I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this. Until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. Peace out.